A kind man saved a small lion cub who was on the verge of death due to the irresponsible behavior of some people. The man fed and raised the cub, but eventually they had to part ways for a long time. The man and the grown-up lion met again only seven years later, and something shocking happened at that moment. Adolfo, a zookeeper and veterinarian who loves animals dearly, once found out about a rich family that decided to have a real lion cub as a pet. However, they had no idea how to care for or feed such a young predator. Fortunately, Adolfo heard about the unfortunate cub and took the hungry and very weak lion cub away from the rich people. He brought the cub to a wildlife nursery where he could care for and even train it. At that time, the lion cub looked more like a large, completely defenseless kitten. Adolfo decided to name the cub Kiara, after the character from the cartoon The Lion King, the main threat to Kiara's life at that moment was a problem with her bones. Due to a sedentary lifestyle and lack of physical activity with her previous owners, the cub could hardly stand on her legs and would immediately fall as soon as she tried to. Seeing the poor creature's suffering, Adolfo took the initiative to heal Kiara. He obtained all the necessary permissions and documents to provide her with personal care and rehabilitation. He became like an adoptive father to the cub, tenderly caring for the little animal, who always greeted him joyfully with hugs. Adolfo fed the cub, played with her, and monitored her health. He gradually increased the animal's physical activity so she could not only stand but also happily run on her legs. Thanks to Adolfo's care, Kiara regained her strength and health, finally overcoming her serious illness. Weeks passed, and Kiara began to transform into an adult lioness, but the conditions in the nursery were not suitable for large predators. Adolfo saw that the lioness's hunting instincts were beginning to show, and she often stalked other inhabitants of the nursery. Kiara was becoming a growing threat to the other animals and the staff, so something had to be done urgently. The only one the lioness still loved and hugged tenderly was Adolfo, but he couldn't figure out what to do with his big pet. The animal couldn't be returned to the wild because she wouldn't survive there, unable to hunt for herself and no lion pride would accept an outsider. Finally, Adolfo found a suitable option a reserve for large wild animals in Brazil, where the lioness could live alongside other predators. The only downside was that Kiara would have to live far away from her mentor, and he wouldn't be able to visit her, eventually breaking their bond. However, Adolfo had no other choice. Kiara soon found herself in her new home. At first, the animal was very sad and devastated, but gradually she found a new family there and became an energetic and beautiful lioness again. It seemed that the predator had forgotten her adoptive father forever, while Adolfo was left with only warm memories of Chiara, whom he had raised from a young age. He wanted to visit his charge, but many circumstances prevented him. Meeting Chiara in the first few months after the separation would have only worsened her already sad state. Moreover, Adolfo had to care for other wild animals and work to support himself and his family. Nevertheless, he never lost hope of seeing his big furry friend again. After seven long years, Adolfo finally had the money and time to travel to Brazil. He was only worried about one thing would Chiara recognize him after such a long time and allow him to get close. Adolfo reached the enclosure and approached the lioness, deeply concerned about what would happen in the next few minutes. The reserve staff allowed the experienced veterinarian to enter the predator's enclosure, warning him that he did so at his own risk. It was very dangerous because if the big predator didn't remember her former mentor, their reunion after a long separation could end very badly. Kiara had been living with other lions and had lived by their rules all this time. Finally, Adolfo opened the enclosure gate and went inside. Kiara seemed very impatient, pacing back and forth in her territory. When the man called the animal by name, she fiercely began to scratch the enclosure door. Then the huge lioness rushed at the man, easily knocking him to the ground. The onlookers froze in horror, not understanding that Kiara was simply overjoyed to see her savior and friend and couldn't contain her emotions from the overwhelming feelings. The lioness, as before, hugged the man tenderly. At that moment, the fierce predator turned back into a small fluffy kitten, incredibly happy to meet her adoptive father. The reserve staff were astonished and couldn't believe what they were seeing. Kiara didn't want to let go of her unexpected guest, firmly holding him with her powerful paws. This was quite dangerous given the predator's sharp claws and teeth and her significant weight, twice that of the man. 
However, Adolfo was not worried at all and happily reciprocated the animal's affection. Seven long years had passed, but Kiara hadn't forgotten her savior and friend, showing us that even the biggest predators can become loyal and faithful friends to kind and compassionate people.